All right, here's another picture. This is Mama, and um, unbelievably, she's still wanting to nurse. I'm trying to fatten her up and help her, and she gets two peanut butter sandwiches in the morning and two, one at night. She gets anything she wants, including vitamins, and she gets the best of the omega-3 packs right offline on the health food stores. But look how skinny my poor girl is. Um, she's just that way. She uh, doesn't eat. It, you have to entice her with full chicken breast, real white meat. We get it at Sam's Club and boil it for her and add in different omega-3s and um, proteins. But she just looks so thin to begin with. And then when she's nursing, it just, I don't know. In this family, we're all a little chunky. So she's just kind of, I don't know. I'm used to seeing a lot more meat on my dogs. And that really worries me a little. So we just keep feeding her and you'll have to watch and see how she does over the next three weeks. Um, other than blowing her coat, which is perfectly natural, um, I just wanna see her fatten up. I wanna see some more actual muscle on those ribs. But um, she's the one that wants to go in and nurse the pups. Um, not so with this one who's barking. This is my female that is absolutely miserable nursing and I have to force her through the process. And her pups, once she says, I'm done, she says, I'm done. Time to play ball. Look at her. She is so funny. This is Boo, Auntie Boo. Um, she's our older female. And um, if I expand and do more of this, if I get healthy and get my knee done, um, I will be getting more females like Bella and uh, retiring this one. But not yet. She's a very good female. Just doesn't like that nursing thing. Says, nah. Throw the ball. In fact, when we're doing labor, in labor, she will play ball between pups uh that is crazy but she used to do it much more now she's getting better now she just kind of goes after like the 10th pup uh or 11th you know but she's um we have big litters but anyway there she is our beautiful dog and what did you just lick off my leg blue honey i have mosquito spray on baby uh-uh that's not gonna work that just scares me i put that deed on and if they lick me i kind of don't want to have that happen Okay, this is my trainer in action. You're seeing it in, now, listen, Teddy, behave, they're puppies. You see how much bigger they are? He's, he's bigger than them. Well, that won't be very long. But right now he's training them saying, I don't wanna play. And this is kinda good, I kinda use this excuse to say, if you have a small poopsie at home, this is kinda nice because they know to be cautious early on. If I keep Teddy out here with me, Teddy it snaps and, and growls at him. And I'd rather mine snap at them and get them trained early than for you to go home and have yours snap at your new pup and them not have a support base to kind of process it. You know, but right now it's, um, for him, I just watch him that he doesn't carry it too far. This is why I don't breed small doodles. This is it. That is a shivery, freakish, like little, he's sweet for one lady like me, a lady, um, older people, maybe single, but this is not a family dog. And um, I don't like the personality, and there's not even a comparison. Except for the fact they look alike, this five pound piece of work does not even resemble, hey, hey, Indy, let me see you, buddy. Doesn't even resemble this standard, royal standard. This is like human quality, intelligence, and calm. Human, just incredible, more than human. I've met people that don't have the calm and the, the brains of this one, seriously. I've met people that have far less intelligence than this dog. Yeah, you can go ahead and quote me on that one. But, um, yeah, go ahead. But, um, I mean, he is amazing. This one, intelligent, but just, eh, just nervous, shivery, adorable, cute. Everybody says he should be like a hood ornament on a car, so he's adorable. But eh, not good for families that have kids or retirees who have grandchildren. It's just, um, this is the dog you, you kind of just say, okay, he's fragile. You just don't want to. He's not going to hurt him or bite him on purpose, but... He's not good with other strange dogs if they go sniffing around him. Anyway, he's just not something I'd want to breed in a big retriever, let's put it that way. I can't get closer. Why can't I get closer? But anyway, that's him. That's Teddy, and he's our little trainer. And Mom, again, look how thin she is in the light. There's my color. It's almost there. It's still real wimpy. Um, but, yeah, that's an that's a apricot below her. You're getting pretty good. I think we're getting pretty close to the real color this i'd say about half the color it looks like i've got a big bright light shining on the puppy's head it, just to double the intensity in your head um but the red is much deeper she's more like a true firing gold golden red and uh the puppy's more like an apricot with red ears 
So anyway, and that is, let's just see who that is. Who is this outgoing, adorable, and love buggishness? That's Kiwi, could have guessed. Just no problem, walks out in this tall, tall grass from, I love our yard, isn't that nice? Yay, I've grass finally, woohoo! And then we have others that are still skeptical about exploring the yard, but here they come. And this is good, this is good to watch. See who has the, um, the bravery, has emotional maturity. And there's Blue, doesn't surprise me. I'd like to see a couple of my shy guys out here. Oh, that's awesome, Z! That's awesome, Z boy! This is Z Top, Z Z Top. He's our big male. He's uh, kind of got this beautiful undercoat of white and dark and reddish ears. Gorgeous, thick coat. This is what we call hunk of burning loves. Look at that, at just four weeks of age, how much blubbery sexiness. Oh, just. Oh, it's not sexy. I just use that word because I just think it's adorable. But it's just so flubbery. This is what we call hunk of burning love right here. You can just bury your face in this. And I'm um, going to be more retriever, I think, overall, because of that straighter hair. But you can tell how much lighter he is than the others. I guess we just named him ZZ Tops because of the Z collar. So when you see his Z collar on this one right here. Oh, wow, we're tight already, honey. I have to change it. It's Z stripe, like zebra stripe, that's ZZ Top. So if you're watching for a boy, there's your boy. He's gorgeous. Now that's Pink Girl. Pink Girl's the only one I think I have that has a true marking on her head. I think I've shown her before and it's not showing up at all, I don't think on camera, but she has a white spot here, white spot here, and a gorgeous white chest. Beautiful reddish looking ears. And apricot body, the jury's out on whether that's going to go red, we'll watch. But they usually all darken before they leave. They start lighter and they darken as they age. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are, Pinky. Yes, you are. Oh, everybody's saying on the videos, they say, you're so beautiful. And those eyelashes are going to be sticking out about half an inch, guys. We might have th three quarter inch eyelashes here. Gorgeous. And again, it's so washed out. I don't know what to do, guys. Okay, that does it. I'm going to see if I can just borrow somebody's camera. If I can get a better picture, I'm just going to buy one. I need it. Put it on a credit card. Good lord. That's blue. Going after a wild thing. You got a good picture of both of them there. Yes, you do. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the camera and just take a picture.